Hey my dear Cancerians, how are you? I hope you're doing fantastic, fantabulous like ever. So today we will be doing your person's thoughts and feelings towards you. Let's see what is it that they are thinking, what what is it that they have in their mind right now when it comes to you. By the end, I will be also reading out few uh messages from this deck messages from your person and that's how i will be concluding this particular reading so i will be using different oracle and tarot deck in this particular reading so let's start before i go ahead i would also like to announce that i am doing various uh, i am conducting various contests uh, for my youtube subscribers where if you are liking and commenting on my videos on a regular basis i will be appreciating your efforts by picking your name one of your name and giving you an in-depth reading reaching out to you and giving you an in-depth reading either in your career or in your personal life be it related to love or family marriage whatsoever but there will be one in-depth reading that I will be doing for you. So appreciate all your efforts. Keep liking and commenting on my YouTube videos because that is where I will be picking up one subscriber probably once in a week or probably once in two weeks. That is something that I will announce on my Insta page. You can now follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. The link is in the description box below. Also, Keep in mind that the energies are interchangeable. If it is not resonating with you right now, it may do later. Also, do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter sign as well. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Let's start with your reading now. Let's see. So this is only for specific set of people who are watching this video. Dear Cancerians. For those people who are in a separation or a no contact period right now, this is for them. This card pull is for them. If they are looking for a reconciliation, is a reconciliation or a communication coming in? For my dear Cancerian, again, this is only for few specific people, not each and every one of you. This is for people, this is for my dear Cancerians who are looking for a reconciliation or a communication from their partner or the person most on their mind. Is there a communication or a reconciliation on the cards for my dear Cancerians? Is there a communication or a reconciliation for my Cancerians? And the answer is a yes. A yes. Dear Cancerian, there is definitely a communication that is going to come up for you people right so in case if you have been thinking is there a reconciliation then it's a yes there is a reconciliation coming in for you people let me see what else do we have what is it that my cancerians should should know what is it that my cancerians should know what is it that my cancerians should know Cancerians, there's something better along with not the right time at the bottom of the deck. Cancerians, I somehow feel that you are being told that the reconciliation for you guys are definitely on the cards. But at the same point of time, there is something better which is also coming in in your life or you should not be stuck on this particular person because there is someone better out there even if there is a reconciliation there is something better for you lying ahead and right now it is not the right time but at the same point of time you're being asked to keep your options 
open. Let's see how this uh, progresses. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Let's see what are what is your person's what is your per person's current thoughts and feelings. What is the current thoughts and feelings of the person most on my Cancerian's mind? This is for my dear Cancer. What is it they should know about their person most on their mind? I'm going to take them all back. There are quite many. Hmm. Current thoughts and feeling of the person most on their mind. This is for my Cancerian. Current thoughts and feeling most on my Cancerian's mind. Current thoughts and feeling of the person most on my Cancerian's mind. Current thoughts and feelings of the person most on my Cancerian's mind. else do we have current thoughts and feeling of a person most on my Cancerian's mind more cards please I'm so sorry Cancerians I'm just pulling out the cards first so that then I can go ahead and do the reading in in a flow and there is no disturbance as well because when I shuffle a lot many people have uh, pointed this thing out that you know because of shuffling they are unable to hear what I am saying or talking so I'm just trying to be careful here Cancerians somebody is unable to move on here even if you guys are in separation or whatsoever either it is about their past but I see there's a stuck energy here. Somebody is stuck in their past. Probably you or them. It's about them. So it's them. Either it is about you. In case if you're going through a separation here. If you're going through a no contact period here. It can be your memories with them. Or it can be your person's excess energy here that I am reading about. So I somehow feel that for people who have a person on their mind right now and is thinking what that person is thinking right now, I see there is there is a stuck energy here. Somebody is thinking about their past, about the good old memories that either you guys have shared or they have shared with somebody else. There is a past energy which is keeping them stuck for sure. Past energies, past moments, past, you know, whatsoever, the history. I somehow feel that there is a new beginning on the cards for you, but that is going to be very slow. So in case if you are thinking that you're going to get that beginning right away, it is going to take time. It can take about a year or maybe less, but then yes, there is a new beginning undoubtedly, but it is going to be very slow. Can be dealing with the earth sign here, can uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and Earth's earth sign are typically very slow moving energies here however when i see when i talk about your person's energy here there is a new uh, new beginning uh quite grounded one quite stable and quite uh you know grounded kind of genuine uh, beginning that is coming forward for you from this particular person that is what they are feeling right now they want some kind of stability they want some person who is very they want a person who is very grounded when it comes to their when it comes to their life 
they want a new beginning in their life however they have some kind of trust issues whether when aware they are unable to trust people here there are trust issues which are cropping up in this particular situation they are unable to trust people because of their past hurt because of their past hurt which they have gone through and they have kind of started uh keeping their thoughts and energies and feelings to themselves they don't share it with anybody right now they have definitely gone through a heartache i feel that your person that you are thinking about they have gone through a loss not with you but i'm hearing they have gone through a breakup in their past because of which they have kind of taken their power back and they have kind of you know stopped wearing their heart on sleeves they have had a literally bad bad past wherein you know they felt very hurt they felt cheated and they felt a lot of lot of pain but then they have not given up on love they have not given up on this hope wherein they will get into a union of a lifetime this person definitely believes in a soulmate connection right they want a union they want a soulmate they are very hopeful they will get a soulmate here cancerians and but you know your person is going through a lot because of the past hurt they have gone back into their shell they do not try they do not discuss they do not tell uh uh their their side of the story that easily or their life that easily to anyone they don't open up very easily to anyone right probably because of that i feel that you know they are trust issues even if you offer them love cancerians they are so heartbroken within themselves that they are unable to trust you or the situation or the person who's offering them love but deep within their heart they crave for love deep within their heart they crave for a new beginning here deep within their heart they crave for stability a soulmate here but they are unable to decide what exactly and who exactly they they should trust trust is a big issue here undoubtedly trust is a big issue here you need to make your person believe that you are worthy of their trust it's it's a hard work here eight of pentacles i see positive movement forward here uh, your person can be very focused in their work earning money earning coins for themselves very career oriented very grounded person very focused in their career very focused in what they do they believe in hard work because they know at the end of the day hard work is going to pay off your person is quite intuitively strong and they believe in the law of manifestation because i saw two cards here one is a wish fulfillment a hope is still there joy and intuition so they know that you know whatever went wrong in their past they just need to be careful now in making a decision and making a choice hence they are taking their own time and they want the situation to grow organically they are manifesting a soulmate in their life they are manifesting a union of a lifetime in their life they are manifesting a person they can say a yes to i do do i will marry you to will you marry me they are looking for a person with whom they can get settled down with they can get married to and when it comes to you you make them feel hopeful you make them feel that good people still exist you make them feel that 
you are a bit hard work here <laughs> but it is all going to be worth it because they are evaluating in their mind that now if they give their heart to you they should not be played upon they should not be cheated again because i am going to take time i am going to be slow i am only going to propose when i am sure about the feelings you hold for me when i am sure that i won't be hurt again i won't be left out again i won't be stranded again i won't feel that pain again that sorrow again right so commitment is on the cards but it is going to be very slow until unless you don't prove yourself to them however can say rin the question is are you ready to wait for them because now is not the right time they are still they are still stuck up or hung in their past hurt they will take time so are you ready to wait patiently for them because there is something better than this person as well no matter even if you know that person this person your person is ready to give you a commitment but are you ready to wait patiently the question is that let me know in the comment section down below here is that what you are ready to do you are ready to wait for your person or you are not ready to wait for your person let me know let me know is is this particular reading resonating with you or not i would love to know this i would love to know this let's see can say what are your current thoughts and feelings here what are my concerns current thoughts and feelings towards their person current thoughts and feelings and i asked you a question can say it's whether you have patience to wait for your person or you don't have patience to wait for your person here is the answer you are already waiting for this person patience patiently like your person is looking for a soulmate union so are you you feel it within your bones when you think about your person you get those chills that passion when it comes to this union this particular union is carrying forward lifetime from the last past lives that's what i'm hearing lifetime after lifetime lifetime and you are hoping this for this person to come forward with an offer of love however i see that you are having sleepless nights you are thinking about this connection as to where it is going what direction it is moving forward is there a commitment coming in because i like this person i am in love with this person i feel it in my bones i feel it because when i'm with them i feel so happy and out of the world i don't have to pretend i am me with them i feel it that this person is my soulmate this is keeping you up at night because you have strong feelings and there's something that you know about this particular connection what exactly you don't know but you know that this is a divine connection that you have but the past hurt is keeping your person away which is keeping you clueless which is keeping you awake there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of fear that is surrounding this particular connection i feel for few of you you're not even taking care of your health you're not eating properly you're not sleeping properly you're looking for a reconciliation there is a reconciliation again 
but it is going to be slow it is going to be slow i see the world your world is changing probably there are many connections that you had are leaving your life your friends people who don't serve any purpose or value in your life you're getting over with them and you're moving on you're moving on and you're hoping you're hoping for this person to come forward in your life and offer you love you have taken the control you are not you are not emotionally getting drained right now you have taken a charge on your emotions even if you have fears and worries and anxieties surrounding you but still you are keeping it to yourself you want to offer your love to the person who deserves it the most who will not break your heart and who is worth it you're literally juggling right now which direction you should take also for few of you i'm hearing you can be even juggling with your finances right now probably and probably you are right now even telling your person that you want a commitment there is a message that you are hoping this person will send a just normal hi hello would also do but there is a communication that you are expecting with this person there is a union that you are expecting a reunion that you are expecting with this person but i see that you know you have offered them love and they have rejected and you know and you feeling very hurt probably for few of you i also feel that they are options that you have and peep somebody has somebody is interested out there in you but then you're not looking at them because you're too busy looking at this this person this hurt this reconciliation but you also know that you have to be wise and right now whatever hurt or rejection that you have gone through you're kind of healing yourself you're taking the control back on your life because at the end you know that you need stability you need a house you need a loving partner you need kids with them and you have gone back in your shell that's the outcome that i see right now in the month of april i see there is a lot of positive uh, energies that you both have but then your person is kind of a little confused because of the past hurt they are unable to move on completely from their ex energy and this time they want to invest in a right person in the right relationship and they are also focused in their career you for now is not the priority but for you they are your priority right i see a direction coming up for you in the month of april itself you are taking the charge in your hands you are going to direct your life as per you you're not going to you are not going to you know mourn anymore on this particular rejection i see a lot of abundance coming to you probably in your career finances probably even in in in, in love in the month of april and you are going to take a call when it comes to this connection you are definitely going to take a call in the month of april because i see that you have had enough you have had enough you have cried enough over the spilled milk over the spilled mi milk you are going to take a call and you're going to be very successful there are some uh, rewards and recognition coming waiting for you in your career as well that's what i see but there is a lot of success that i see in your career coming in i also see that probably even if you have taken a call you have you you are trying to move forward with your life with your career with your job with your money with everything right you are still stalking them you are still stalking them because you know at the end of the day this person makes you happy very happy you are resting you are thinking and you are resting you have taken your power back 
can say this. You have definitely taken your power back. You, you're actually concentrating on your health. By the end of April, you are doing good, even if you are not open to the options that is being offered to you in love. You are still taking care of yourself. Whatever trauma, anxiety, fears that you have gone or you are going through right now, that is going to resolve by the end of April. You'll be doing good in your work. will be doing good mentally emotionally physically you are not open for love but you are in the healing process and you are making yourself a priority where you know you are not going to settle down for less you want somebody who is worth it and ready to give you a commitment and settle down with you no more heartbreaks are welcome no more people who are going to give you pain or traumas are welcome anymore in your life anybody who is going to give you an equal partnership or offer you an equal partnership is going to be the one it should be a mutual effort from both the side that person is going to be yours and i see a wish fulfillment maybe dealing with the aquarius here I see a wish fulfillment coming in for you in April itself. A solid offer either with this through this person or with somebody else, but a solid commitment, grounded energy coming forward to you towards you. So that's about the reading. Let me see uh, the current messages from your person. What are the current messages that we have? current messages this is for my dear cancerians current messages from your person what is it that my cancerians should know messages from my cancerians from their person i'm waiting for the day i can make you an offer like i said will you please listen to me your person uh, themselves they are aware that you know they have done a you know they know that you know they have done a bit of goof ups here do you love me they still want to know do you love them they have done goof up here they are taking their own sweet time wherein they can go ahead heal focus on their life do the healing work and then come back to you but then again the question is are you ready to wait i see you waiting but at the same point of time i see you moving on unintentionally i miss you i can keep looking at you all day long I want to focus on my career right now. Like I said, it just verified the entire reading for you Cancerians. These messages, amazing, right? All right, that's about it, dear Cancerians. If you like what I do, do keep commenting because that is where I will pick one of you and do an in-depth reading, a free of cost reading from my comment section. I'm going to message you so keep a tap on that. Also I'm open for personal reading in case if any any one of you <coughs> wants to have a personal reading you can any time reach out to me I'll be happy to help you out. Meanwhile see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Or whatever. <laughs> bye bye.